hello and welcome to another session of mathematics lesson in this lesson we're going to look at variation the second class in variation but before that let us go to the previous session of this subject welcome back in this lesson today we'll continue with um, the remaining two types of variation which are joint variation and partial variation and then we'll go over to application of variations so let's quickly look at joint variation joint variation the mass of a sheet of metal is proportional to both the area and the thickness of the material of the metal therefore m varies jointly as a and then t where our m here is mass and then a here is um the area where t is the thickness of the metal so we say that the metal the metal um is um so we say that the mass of the metal is dependent on the area and then the thickness of that metal okay and then another example is um the football and um, air football and air without foot without air football is useless when um football is bought the first thing it has done is to fill it with air you pump your air in order for the football to be useful now the air in the football determines the weight of the football and also the usefulness of the football so invariably it means that um, um football and air are what um joint variables okay and then the relationship now that exists between football and the air is studied under joint variation i hope that is clear now okay so let us take um, an example okay let's solve the question on the screen it says y varies inversely mark the word inversely as s squared and x varies directly as z squared then find the relationship that exists between y and z given that c is a constant c is a constant okay let us start um we will solve this um question part by part okay the first sentence says that y varies inversely as what x squared y varies inversely as what x squared you remember inverse variation and therefore we have that y is equal to um a over x squared where a is a constant a is a constant okay in our previous classes we used k but in this lesson i want us to use a as what a constant okay so y is equal to a over x squared similarly we are told that x varies directly as z squared so we have x varying directly as what z squared and this is this is um equal to and this means that x is equal to k z squared right but in this um example i want us to use b in place of k okay so therefore x is equal to b z squared okay so we've gotten our y to be equal to our y is equal to a over x squared and our x is equal to b z squared okay we just took them from here fine so the first thing we need to do here is the to substitute them um, substitute x equals b z squared in equation one equation one and this is our equation one okay this is our equation two 
so in our equation one y is equal to a over what x squared and x is equal to bz squared so because of the power here we still add what two y will then be equal to a all over y will be equal to a all over open this bracket we have b squared z squared is that correct but remember in the question here we are told that um c is given to be what a constant c is given to be what a constant so by that a and b are also what constants but can be replaced by what c so therefore we have y to be equal to c all over z raised to power four this is four because of um z raised to power two times two will give us what z raised to power four so it was a mistake okay so we have um z we have c we have y to be equal to c all over z raised to power four okay then similarly if we want to make c the subject of formula c then will be equal to what y times what z raised to power four and that's just it okay